It's got a 2003 Infiniti G35. The car's running our compounds. Also has a Stone Supercharger kit. The car's outputting about 360 to 400 horsepower. The next week or so, we'll get the car tuned. In the rear subframe, you'll notice that there's a white line rear differential mount bushing. We're actually installing a new bushing setup, Nismo diff cover, and a Quaif LSD. Uh, the reason why we're installing all this is that the car does go to track and wants some good hookup in the rear. Uh, mostly what we're going to point out today is the white line bushings. As you can see, we've got our pumpkin sitting out of the car, Nismo rear diff cover, Quaif LSD, and then here is the factory rear differential bushing. This bushing is pressed into place into the subframe and is not sold separately by Nissan. The thing that sucks about this bushing when you have a lot of horsepower output is the fact that you'll notice here it says up, down, it's kind of squishy. The reason why is that that bushing is oil filled. So when you go to load up the rear power to the rear wheels, this bushing will actually comply with that, meaning it has some give in it. If this bushing pops, it will get even more slack in the rear diff mounting setup. So, the new white line bushing set is, as you can see, a solid urethane design. Doesn't have any of the liquid filled areas or the compliancy in them. Um, it will definitely help hold the horsepower to the rear wheels and allow the rear end to function more properly as you're going around the racetrack, daily driving, or just having a good time with your car. If you have any questions, go ahead and email us at sales at projectimport.com.